It's like your mama. <laughs> That's your daddy in you. Right. And most of the time it's not good, right? <laughs> yeah, it could be. But most of the time you hear it in a negative connotation. Connotation. Let's say if your dad's John and you're acting like something and your wife or your husband says, okay, John. All right, help me, help me now, Holy Ghost. It's never happened to me. And many of the children, and he shall go before him as power of Elijah. And Zacharias said unto the angel, whereby shall I know this for, I, you know, I just, I just need to just stop here just for a second. I just think, I just think I, what I love about this story uh, Randolph is that these guys are just talking to angels like they're their buddies. Really? really? Hey, how you doing? I mean, you look like an angel today. You might be an angel. I love you, bro. Bless this God. is my man right here. Antivon. Antivon or Antivon? Antivon. And Antivon is probably one of the best chefs in, actually in Raleigh for sure. Amen. <laughs> If you ever need something cooked right here, is your man. But the fact is, is that I could be, if I could be thinking it's, it's Antivon, but what if it was an angel? You know, the Bible says that we've entertained angels. Watch this, unaware. I'm in the book, right? I'm in the book. Now, I know he's not an angel because he already told me his testimony. That ain't an angel's testimony. <laughs> but the fact is, is that you could be entertaining an angel. And you talk to them. Are you with me? And you're just having a conversation. Now, some of us have testimonies. I personally do. I've had conversations with angels. I've actually been helped by angels. I know it with my hand up before God. I know it was an angel. And the angel actually drove a truck. And the angel came up and helped me. And he was an old Spanish man. And I know he looked like that. But I know he was an angel. I know he was an angel. See, some of y'all don't believe that, but you, you believe this story. 